Adults play are getting fined? You don't see this happen often, do you? Today, we reveal which darts player caught a fine during a darts match due to his stupid behavior. You won't believe the reason, so keep watching. In the electrifying world of professional darts, where precision meets entertainment, one name shines as brightly as a well-polished bullseye, Dyson Parody. But it's not just his prowess on the hockey that makes him stand out. It's his unique habit of celebration that has both amused, and in one instance, landed him in hot water. But before we talk about that exciting moment that had the darting world talking, let's go back a bit and re-experience Dyson's darting journey and his habit for hilarious celebrations. From the enchanting land of Gibraltar, Dyson Parody stormed onto the PDC scene, ready to take on the giants of the game. His journey in the professional darts world wasn't filled with championship wins, but it was certainly lively. He participated in many PDC Players Championships and UK Open qualifiers, but victory always seemed just out of reach, with his best performance getting him only to the last 64. However, there was a turning point, his first appearance in a major PDC event. In 2009, Dyson made his first appearance on the big stage of PDC major events, but it was a quick exit, losing 6-1 to John McGowan in the UK Open. The opportunity was there, but Dyson was still finding his groove. It wasn't until he teamed up with the fellow players for the PDC World Cup that he experienced his first taste of victory, winning a single game against Italy in 2015. However, it was what came next that truly made Dyson Parody a memorable name in the world of darts. The World Cup was just beginning. Dyson's charm wasn't limited to his throws. It was a celebratory dance that often stole the spotlight. Yet, it was during the Euro Tour events where Gibraltar took the spotlight that Dyson Parody's playful actions became legendary. From impressive finishes to lively celebrations, his performances were as surprising as they were enjoyable. In the match against the experienced Andy Hamilton, Dyson made an impressive comeback from a 4-1 disadvantage. Even though he didn't win, his celebratory dance after a hard-fought round made fans laugh. As the years went by, Dyson's amusing celebrations became a trademark of Gibraltar's Euro Tour events. Don't forget to hit the bullseye so you never miss out on any of our amazing darts videos. In 2014, a clash of Gibraltar's finest pitted parody against Henry Zapata. The result? A whitewash, paired with thunderous finishes, including a majestic 152 checkout. But perhaps it was encounter with Gary Anderson that brought both victory and laughter. His journey to the second round might have been short, but his darts were as sharp as his sense of humour. Despite the loss, a remarkable 160 point finish added excitement to the stage, leaving everyone including Anderson in fits of laughter. Dyson had an impressive ability to turn defeats into uplifting displays of spirit. Yet, not all chapters are trial. In 2015, the tale took a twist as Parody narrowly missed qualifying, his dreams dashed by Dylan Duo. Such setbacks, however, were mere commas in the story, pauses before the next thrilling paragraph. But in that year, he scored his first nine data in the PDC Q School event, but he lost the game 5-4 to Paul Milford. Then, in 2016, a big chance happened for Dyson Parody's darts career. The best part of his career happened during a Euro Tour event. Dyson's funny actions were the centre of attention again. His first game against Dirk van Dwevenbode was really exciting. Dyson played really well and celebrated with loud shouts and dancing after winning each part of the game. During the game, Dyson's unpredictable style helped him win 6-3. But what made the audience laugh was how Dyson celebrated, as if he hit the best spot every time. This special win was the first time a player from the same country as the event won against someone from a different country in the event's history. Dyson was proud of this and celebrated in his own special way. Next, Dyson played against Jelle Klaassen, a strong darts player. The game was exciting as Dyson took the 3-1 lead, but Klaassen fought back and the score became 3-3. The last part of the game was very intense and Dyson won by hitting the target with only two darts. In the next round, Dyson played against Max Hopp, the world youth champion at the time. The game was very tense and Dyson won some parts at the start, but then Hopp started winning and led 3-2. The game went back and forth and the score became 3-3. Dyson won the last three parts of the game and celebrated a lot, almost falling off the stage in the process. But luck it seemed had a bigger plan in store for Dyson Parody. Pulled into an important quarterfinal match, he faced none other than the strong world number one, the powerful Michael Van Gerwen. The excitement was high as the match started. Van Gerwen 
Roman took the lead, leaving Dyson to catch up. In a surprising turn of events, when Dyson was at 240, he landed a well-timed 180, reducing his score to 60. The crowd cheered as Dyson playfully moved away from the throwing line, giving Van Gerwen an unexpected pause before his attempt at 80, which he quickly converted. Dyson, driven by his unique celebration style, rallied. Winning the second leg, he jokingly mimicked a headbutt gesture towards Michael, once again causing a short delay in the game. This happened repeatedly as Dyson hit his 180s, making Van Gerwen step back from the throw line for a moment. At 91 point finish from Van Gerwen resulted in Dyson taking a 3-1 lead and his celebrations almost tested the patience of both his opponent and the match officials. The competition continued with both players successfully holding on to their turns and Dyson keeping his lead over the world number one. The excitement grew as Dyson moved within one leg of winning. He did another of his signature 180 celebrations, exciting the crowd. However, Van Gerwen fought back bravely, narrowing the gap to just one leg. As the crucial final leg began, it was a test of nerves. Dyson had the advantage, reaching a double before for Van Gerwen. The crowd held their breath as Dyson missed a chance to win with double seven from 86. Van Gerwen, given another opportunity, missed two chances to win the match. The tension reached its peak as Dyson missed two more and his disappointment was clear. In a moment that showed sportsmanship, Van Gerwen hit double four to secure the victory and he calmly shook hands with Dyson despite the intense nature of the match. However, Dyson's elaborate celebrations had caused disruption and this hadn't gone unnoticed. The Darts Regulation Authority got involved, issuing a £350 fine for Dyson's actions during the match, a decision that reflected the feelings of the darting community. It was a pivotal moment that marked a shift in Dyson Parody's approach to the game, a realisation that while celebrations were his hallmark, balance was key. In the following year, Dyson once again secured qualification for the prestigious event. However, this time his performance fell short. Averaging 82, he faced a first round exit, defeated 6-1 by Magnus Kars. The disappointment was palpable, a stark reminder of the unpredictability of the sport. The year 2018 saw Dyson's absence from the event, but he made a triumphant return in 2019. He clinched a thrilling victory against Cordeca in a deciding leg during the first round. This hard fought win earned him a ticket to the second round, where he faced the renowned Peter Wright. Dyson's characteristic humour shone through in his post match interview, joking about the challenge of facing one of the world's best players. A 6 2 defeat to Wright marked the end of his journey that year. His journey in subsequent years saw mixed fortunes. A defeat to Kenny Nyans in a lacklustre game in 2021 was a setback but it didn't dampen Dyson's spirits. The following year, he faced Ryan Jones and bowed out of the competition. This particular edition marked the final Gibraltar Darts Trophy for the time being, leaving a temporary void in the darting calendar of the rock. Dyson Parody's career was a roller coaster marked by roarious celebrations, unexpected victories, and at times, humbling defeats. His story was more than just a tale of darts. As Dyson's journey continued, the echoes of his celebrations and his commitment to the game continue to inspire darting enthusiasts worldwide. Don't forget to hit the bullseye so you never miss out on any of our amazing darts videos. See you next time.